Hey, I'm going to show you how to make a actor bounce up and down like you see right here. And before you click off on this video, I'm going to show you the code just so you can look and see if you've already tried this. Um, but yeah, this is what you do to get the box or an actor to bounce up and down. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and created a very simple blueprint uh, box. Um, it literally just uh, did blueprint actor named it BP bounce and then went in to it added a cube just literally go here cube just so you have a static mesh and uh, you're gonna need that mesh because it's that's what's going to be referenced here so to start at be uh, begin event begin play you're going to need to get a like where your box or actor starts. So get like your relative starting location. So you'll see here that I have a, uh, a set, a setter for setting relative starting location Z. And that's just because Z is up and down. We're going to be going up and down. I don't really care about the X and Y, um, but I'm sure you, I mean, you could figure out how to do this by just replacing Z if you want to go side to side with, with uh, something else. Um, then the event tick, uh, you're going to be setting relative location, so relative location to the starting location up here. Um, and again, you're referencing the cube. So all you do to do that is just to kind of drag in your static mesh that you're interested in from over here. Um, and you're going to get uh, game time since creation. It's pretty self-explanatory, but just the amount of time since you've pressed play. Um, one thing to note is we have a bobbing speed uh, variable. So this is a float, and it is how fast you want the thing to bob up and down. You're going to be multiplying these two things together, game start time and bobbing speed. Uh, multiply here, and then pass that through, th through a sign um, degrees. Um, to get sign degrees, you go sign, and then pick the degrees one. Um, and then we're going to multiply that by uh, bobbing distance. So how, not not only how fast, but then like how what, like how far should it should it bob? Um, and then plug that in to an addition. That's going to add to the again that relative starting location that we set up here. Uh, and then put that into the new Z location. Um, and then just so it's very clear. I made three new variables for this, bobbing speed, bobbing distance, relative starting location. Um, the bobbing distance is, a, is an integer in mine, but you, you can keep it afloat if you want. And then I also, to make the variables visible in my editor, I press these, this I button, which makes it visible. So then when I go compile, save, and here, um, I'll be able to you can see the bobbing speed and bobbing distance show up right here. And that's again, because I pressed the I right there. And so again, this is the same thing we saw before. I didn't change anything. Uh, that's 130 for reference if you like that speed, but we can go bobbing speed a thousand. Let's see what that looks like. looks kind of crazy. Uh, and then say we want it to go way farther so we can go a hundred uh, and then we press play. So that's what that's looking like. If this uh, video has been helpful to you, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. And then feel free to leave any questions or thoughts in the comments down below. But yeah, happy, uh, happy gaming. And uh, yeah, talk to you later. See ya.